Hello everybody, this is Derek from realchitchat.com and I wrote a blog earlier sending you guys a link to a emulator that came out for the Mac OS and I downloaded it earlier and I told you guys in my blog that I would do a review about it so I'm here to tell you guys my personal likes and uh, if I have any dislikes so let's get into it. First of all you can find their you can find the emulator on their website and the website is www openemu.org so that's o p e n e m u .org and there you can find information on the program and you can also find the download link right here and you can also find at the very bottom of the screen you can also find some roms for yourself if you don't have to have roms they're offering you some at the bottom of the screen as a starter pack so you can let's get it started okay i've already downloaded it so you normally would click download and it would start to download so actually, I have it open already right here. Now, as you see, it's very self-explanatory. It's basic drag and drop, so you can take your ROM from your your desktop or wherever it is, and you can just slide it and drag it into games. And then from there, uh, you're ready to go. Now, on this side, you have your different consoles. You have your, your Game Boy, your Game Gear, and all the different kinds of systems that you can play on here. So I've already put a game in here. I have three ninjas for the Super Nintendo, but I, have a, I actually have a couple hundred ROMs that I'm going to add in here later. Now, I don't know how this works. I don't know if I can play this for you guys, but I'm going to play it for you guys anyway. So I'm going to let you guys see how the game runs. Here's the running running game. And I haven't had any problems uh, running a ROM yet. So far, I've played uh, Bart Simpson. I've played Mario. I've played several several different ROMs, and they, they've played fine. Now, I did run into a problem. This is one thing that I'm not going to say it's a dislike, but it, it, it did crash. I did have the program crash a couple times, and I had to go out, and I had to delete it and reinstall it again. So if you have that problem, if it crashes on you, just delete it and reinstall it, and you shouldn't have the problem. So I'm actually getting here, and I'm going to describe a couple things to you guys. First of all, as I described already, uh, here's all your consoles on this side. But you also have a collections area where you can add collections. So... I can add a collection and I can rename it. Let's rename it Shooters. So now I have a column named Shooter. So now I can take a game from over here and I can drag it into Shooter. So then that way I won't have to always come back and just look up the game over here. I can actually just go into my collections area and I'll be able to pull up my favorite games already. You can also change, change the look of how your games are presented to you. As you see, you have uh, three different options down here. You have your grid view, then you have your, your flow chart view, and your, your list view. Um, I'm a person that I don't really like lists. I like visuals, too, so I like to have an image. So I usually use uh, the first, the grid view, or I usually use the flow view. Now, if you have a, f a file with your ROMs already in it, you can go into your preference area, and then you will find an area right here. This is game library folder location, and you could point the emulator to where you want it to pull your games from. Now, down here are all my available libraries, and uh, it's a reason why they have these because I deleted the installation. I I had to re put the the program back on, so that that's not an issue down there. So don't worry about that. And you also have your display modes. You can change your filters, so you can change it to NTSC or uh, any other filter you need to change it to. And you can also you also have your window management where you can start all your games full screen. And uh, I do like playing these games full screen on the Mac. They look they look good. You also have your button layouts where you can change any of your buttons or any of your uh, you know directionals. However you want to I don't know who would change the directions from down up up to down unless you're playing like a helicopter game. But uh, you can do it. And here you have all your cores. I haven't installed all my cores. So I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall them once again. I had like I said I had to do it once they started crashing well that's about all that i uh have to say i mean everything about it is good the the interface is good it's easy to navigate it plays like a dream i really didn't have anything negative except for the crashing problem that i experienced after playing it for about an hour or two so um other than that i give this emulator two thumbs up and this is derek from realchitchat.com and I'll see you guys next video or next post. Leave a comment if you have any questions and I will get back to you as soon as possible.